वेलकम टू आवर टूडे टपिक आसेट सो लेट स्टार्ट द मीनिंग ऑफ आसेट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर्टिकल्स राइट्स ओन्ड बाय एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट प्रोवाइड्स इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स फॉर ए लॉन्ग पीरियड इज कॉल्ड आसेट सो आसेट मीन्स द प्रॉपर्टीज द ऑब्जेक्ट्स द आर्टिकल्स और एनी राइट्स दोज आर ओन्ड बाय एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दैट प्रोवाइड्स इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर ए लॉन्ग पीरियड दैट इज कॉल्ड आसेट सो इट्स फीचर्स आर जेनरली इट इज ओन्ड बाय एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज वैल्यूएबल फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट प्रोवाइड्स बेनिफिट फॉर ए लॉन्ग पीरियड एंड इट ऑल्सो इनक्रीजेस द यर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ बिजनेस इट इज ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्मूथ कंडक्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस सो दैट मीन्स एन आसेट इज एन आर्टिकल और प्रॉपर्टीज दैट प्रोवाइड्स बेनिफिट टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड हुई इज सो मच वैल्युएबल फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इनक्रीजेस द यर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड ऑल्सो नीड्स ह्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड आसेट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुई इज ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर टाइप्स दैट इज करेन्ट आसेट वेस्टिंग आसेट फिक्टिशियस आसेट एंड नॉन करेन्ट आसेट अकॉर्डिंग टू शेड्यूल थ्री ऑफ कंपनीज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन आसेट आर ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स दैट इज करेन्ट आसेट एंड नॉन करेन्ट आसेट बट ट्रेडिशनली आसेट्स आर ऑफ फोर टाइप्स दैट इज करेन्ट आसेट्स वेस्टिंग आसेट्स फिक्टिशियस आसेट्स एंड नॉन करेन्ट आसेट सो करेन्ट आसेट मीन्स द आसेट्स हुईच आर मीड फॉर रिसेल एंड हुईच प्रोवाइड्स प्रोवाइड्स बेनिफिट फॉर शॉर्ट पीरियड दैट इज ट्वेल्व मंथ्स व्हिच कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू कैश इजीली एंड सच एसेट्स maintains maintains the earning capacity of organization that means the asset which can be easily converted into cash or the assets which are purchased for the purpose of resale and the benefit of which assets are consumed within 12 months that means within 1 year is called our current asset so its example are cash in hand cash at bank डेप्टर बिल्स रिसिवेबल एसेट्रा 
वेर एज नन करेंट आसेट्स और दोज आसेट्स हुईच आर नट ए करेंट आसेट दैट मीनस द आसेट हुईच इज नट ए करेंट आसेट इज कल्ड नन करेंट आसेट इट इज जस्ट अपोजिट द करेंट आसेट सो इट्स फीचार्स आर इट इज नट मिट फर रिसेल नट मिट फर रिसेल इनक्रीजेस इट इनक्रीजेस यर्निंग कैपेसिटी of a business it is provides benefit provides benefit for long period and also requires huge amount of investment that means the asset which is purchased for the use not for the resale purposes and that provides benefit for a long period and also increases the earning capacity of the business that is called non current assets it is also called as the fixed asset so the non current assets is also known as fixed assets it is further divided into two types so the non current or fixed assets are divided into two types that is tangible asset tangible fixed assets and intangible fixed assets so the tangible fixed assets are those fixed assets which can be seen and touched by an organization is called tangible fixed assets its examples are land building furniture etc whereas intangible fixed assets are those fixed assets which cannot be seen and touched but the its existence can be felt by an organization that is called intangible fixed asset so its examples are goodwill trademark copyright patent license etc so let's repeat again non current assets are those assets which is not a current asset it is otherwise known as fixed asset which is broadly divided into two types that is tangible fixed asset and intangible fixed asset tangible fixed assets are those fixed asset which can be seen and touched whereas intangible fixed assets are those fixed assets which cannot be seen and touched but it can be felt by an organization is called intangible asset so the fixed asset means the asset which is purchased for long term use but not for the resale purposes and that provides benefits for long period and also increases the earning capacity of an organization 
is called fixed asset and its examples are land building furniture machinery equipments goodwill trademark copyright license all these all the tangible fixed assets and all intangible fixed assets are belongs to the fixed assets so let's wasting asset so wasting assets are those assets which is subject to exhaust once it is used by the organization that means once such assets are used then the utility of such asset comes to an end so such type of assets are called wasting assets that means the asset utility of which subject to exhaust once it is used by the organization so its examples are oil well mines etc oil wells mines coals all such assets are belongs to the wasting assets whereas fictitious assets are those assets which don't have any physical form no realizable value but treated as an asset by the organization under some technical ground that means such type of assets are not the actually asset of the organization and also don't have any physical form and also don't have any realizable value but under some technical ground such type of assets are treated as asset of the organization that is called fictitious assets its examples are preliminary expenses promotion expenses advertisement suspense all such assets are included under fictitious assets this is all about our asset so we discussed the meaning of asset and its features and various types of assets or classification of the assets so in order to get the better ideas regarding assets so watch this video repeatedly and share it with all your friends thank you